So could you give us a little background on this museum and what encouraged you to be such a big part of it? Sure. Um, well, to introduce myself, my name is Tyree Boyd-Pates. I'm the history curator and program manager here at the California African American Museum. Uh, the California African American Museum has been around since 1984 and we have been serving uh, not only the South LA USC community but the entire state of California for 30 plus years. Um, we have five exhibition spaces that uh, turn over exhibitions nearly three times a year and within that period uh, we have exhibitions that are not only history focused but they're art focused and they show the complete breadth of the black experience with an emphasis on the West. So what significance does, what is the big significance that the museum serves for like the black community in LA? Um, well it's a very important space within the black community not only culturally and creatively but politically. Um, the initial reason why the museum would was chartered was to be a repository for black political figures um, who have served California to some degree and uh, beyond that we've been able to create more niche opportunities for those who seek to one day have their whether there be their historical items or their art on the walls and Cam has started so many careers and has had so many people walk in the stores from Barack Obama to Sidney Poitier uh, to Angela Rye, Maxine Waters and even uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce and so I can say uh, this place like many other uh, landmarks within Los Angeles and in California continue to serve the black community to a great degree. Okay. What exhibits would you say attract the most people and why? Well all of our exhibitions really um, speak to the black experience mm -hmm. but the ones that seem to really continue the conversations that we're attempting to initiate here tends to be history exhibitions um, because there are so many people who are hungry to see themselves um, not only contemporarily but um, how history has conveyed or portrayed us in a certain light and so because I'm the history curator um, I get to challenge people um, about some of the biases that society has about us. My most, um, the most notable exhibition that I think did that was my exhibition last year entitled No Justice No Peace LA 1992 which focused on the 25th anniversary of the Rodney King uprisings or the LA uprisings um, in 1992 um, and it really spoke to um, the moment where police brutality is occurring with regularity um, and community um, the frustrations were at a high and I was trying to have a conversation that could change everyone's perspectives. So that was pretty much the big reason why you had curated it in the first place? Yeah, well, to start the dialogue. I, I like starting dialogue but we're using history to do so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So besides being such a big part of the museum, what are other things that you say that you do for like the black community? Oh, absolutely. Um, so I do quite a lot. I'm not only a curator, mm -hmm. I would like to think of myself as a activist, an entrepreneur, a social entrepreneur, and a mentor. Uh, for the other things that I do regarding activists, I, I work very closely with organizations on the ground level in order to support them in any ways that I can, whether it be social media or visibility, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Black Lives Matter, the like. Yeah. Uh, the other one is social entrepreneur, so I have, um, or will co-founded a platform called Black Book LA, mm -hmm. which uh, creates a directory of all the black businesses in Los Angeles so that black millennials and anyone else who's interested can invest in the black community readily with their own dollars. And then mentorship, I work with uh, the California Endowment for their Brother Son Sales Initiative to work with young black boys and men of color about the uh, ways to navigate society um, w when you're a black boy. Um, yeah. In, to, in today. <laughs> yeah. So what are some things that that you do, like, you know, you, how you said you're an activist, yeah. and plus with the museum, what are some things that you want people to be able to take away from coming to the museum or seeing what you do? Mm. Uh, that's a great question. I always say, whether it be a tour or whether I'm lecturing in the classroom or it's just a one-on-one -on -one discussion, I always tell people that history 
is their most valuable tool, but it's most it's certainly the most valuable weapon that they have in their in their mental arsenal, right? Because when you have an understanding of who you are historically, it informs the way that you learn and the type of education that you can acquire and get. And then you can use it to change the world. I think, personally, I am changing the world because I do that every day. Because I want to make sure that history is given to people who don't necessarily have it. Um, and then allow allow them to be equipped to change the world that's around them. So if I can create an exhibition about the LA uprisings and how um, certain communities of color have always been targeted in a particular way, hopefully that can inform the next civic leaders who come out of these communities to one day change the conditions that they are currently existing in.